What's in the number, you ask? For longtime MLB reliever Latroy Hawkins, two digits were apparently enough to make New York Yankees fans seemingly and instantly hate him. But how could such a thing be possible? Why would Yankees fans, as passionate as they tend to be, have such an issue with Hawkins over a number? Well, the New York faithful felt Hawkins' number 21 didn't belong to him. Instead, they believed the number, which was unretired at the time, solely belonged to Paul O'Neill. And what made things so difficult was that O'Neill hadn't even played for the Pinstripers in over six years. So officially, our story begins in February 2008, when Hawkins showed up at spring training wearing number 22. Now, no one cared much about his decision to take a number last worn by seven-time Cy Young Award winner Roger Clemens. And although Hawkins had primarily worn number 32 in his career, the Yankees don't issue 32 because of longtime catcher Elston Howard. Hawkins understandably turned elsewhere. He was on track to wear number 22 until offseason signing and veteran infielder Morgan Ensberg switched to number 11 ahead of opening day. That opened the door for Hawkins to take Ensberg's number 21 and in the process honor Pittsburgh Pirates legend Roberto Clemente. At the time, Hawkins said about Clemente, quote, I read a lot of books and started seeing what he stood for. He died helping people. So even after watching Yankees fans complain about Innsbruck's decision to briefly wear number 21, Hawkins had no issues taking O'Neill's old number. At least, not until the game started. Upon seeing Hawkins wearing number 21, Yankees fans ruthlessly booed the veteran pitcher, who officially made his debut in a 5-2 loss to the Toronto Blue Jays on April 2nd. Three days later, Hawkins allowed six earned runs in two-thirds of an inning against the Tampa Bay Rays. Hawkins had a 9 ERA and allowed 11 hits in his first seven innings with the Yankees, all of which came with number 21 on his back. Then, less than two weeks after his first time pitching in Yankee Stadium for the home team, the 35-year-old made a change. Gone was number 21, and back in was number 22. According to the Associated Press, Hawkins said he made the change after speaking with teammates Derek Jeter and Mariano Rivera, both of whom played with O'Neill from 1995 through 2001. Quote, if it's important enough for Jeter and Mariano and some other veterans to ask me about it, it's not worth it to keep wearing the number, Hawkins said. For his part, O'Neill said he had no issue with Hawkins wearing the number. Then Yankees manager Joe Girardi, who also played with O'Neill, defended his pitcher. Quote, LaTroy was trying to honor Roberto Clemente, someone he looked up to. It was nothing against Paul O'Neill. I think LaTroy has the ultimate respect for Paul O'Neill. It's a tough spot. End quote. Alas, Hawkins' number change didn't really improve his overall numbers. He went 1-1 one one with a 5.03 ERA in 27 games and 34 innings with number 22 on his back before the Yankees traded him to the Houston Astros that summer. From that point on, no Yankees player dared to wear number 21 again. And ahead of the 2022 season, the Yankees announced they'd finally retire O'Neill's number 21. Still, we're left to wonder... What would have happened had Yankees fans responded more favorably to Hawkins' number choice? Would he have potentially have pitched better without hearing the boos he hadn't earned? Hawkins had a minuscule 0.71 ERA in 24 games for the Astros in 2008, so he certainly didn't forget how to get outs. And what might have changed if Jeter, Rivera, or any of the veteran Yankees had publicly defended Hawkins or Ensberg? Would Yankee fans still have gone the offensive? Or would the words of two beloved franchise legends have smoothed things over, at least until Hawkins gave up a home run against the Boston Red Sox? Here on Legacy Library, these are the chapters in sports we love exploring. Thank you for watching. Please like the video and subscribe, and make sure to stay tuned for more.